what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 33 words that wwe wrestlers are not allowed to say now when it comes to how these networks operate they have a set amount of words that you're not allowed to say live on television the only time you're allowed to say some of these words is depending on the the rating of the show if it's like rated ma uh for the tv rating then you could probably say a little bit more you know uh spicy words but if it's like tv 14 pg or and definitely g uh you can't really say too many obscene and you know kind of spicy uh curse words that's just how tv regulations are so i know a lot of us are somewhat excited about uh, WWE going back to TV 14, but even at TV 14, there's still some things they just can't say, and that's fine, you know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna check this out, see what some of these words are. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's do this thing. It may seem strange, but WWE has a list of words that wrestlers and other talent are not allowed to all say. Right, I like the, the list has been leaked. Allow I like the background instrumental. It's nice, nice little hip hop background instrumental, man. I'm gonna see which words are banned and the reasons why. First on the list is wrestling and wrestlers. Oh, this sounds wow. sounds completely crazy. I mean, the company's initials literally stand for World Wrestling. Yeah, they, Vince is big on not calling other people wrestlers within the company. They like to call them superstars. But if you call them wrestlers, they kind of, Vince doesn't like that. Even though some people are able to get away with it, Vince doesn't like you calling people wrestlers within the companies. They want you to call them superstars. Wrestling entertainment. However, these two words have infamously been banned in WWE for years. Mm -hmm. The reason is so that WWE can broaden its appeal. The feeling is that if WWE doesn't call itself wrestling, then people who aren't wrestling fans will check it out. Instead of wrestling, WWE is called what it does, sports entertainment, yeah. or even just entertainment. Likewise, WWE calls its wrestlers superstars. This is also to try to appeal to non-wrestling fans, mm -hmm. but it's also done to make the wrestlers seem larger than life. To be fair, it makes sense. Which sounds more prestigious? I'm a wrestler or I'm a superstar? Uh, but then someone would ask, a superstar of what? <laughs> That's the next question. If I'm trying to get somebody to watch wrestling and I call these people superstars, like, oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of superstars fighting each other. Superstars of what? Just, I don't, I don't, you, it don't really matter. Honestly, bro. I mean, honestly, calling someone a wrestler, if a person going to check it out, they're going to know it's wrestling. It's either going to check it out or they're not going to check it out. I don't think calling them a superstar is going to, I got to check this out. And then they see it's wrestling. What the fuck is this? Two more recently banned words in WWE are belt and strap. Oh, referring yeah. Referring to the championships that wrestlers, I, I mean superstars, <laughs> fight for. Similar to why wrestler is banned, it's believed that belt and strap are too plain and ordinary and doesn't make the championships sound special enough. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying belt, wrestlers and other talent are supposed to refer to them as championships or titles. Yeah. Not only is intentional bleeding in WWE not allowed, but just the word blood is also banned. So is the word choke, Headshot, trauma, spinal injuries, wow. violence, violent, curb stop, strangle, kill, and murder. Wow. Well, maybe that will change with the TV 14 rating if they do go down route. Damn. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of these people be trying to kill them, like kill each other on the show. So what the hell if somebody tried to end my career? I'm not allowed to say... I'm going to murder you when I get my hands on you. I'm going to beat you up when I get my hands on you. You see the difference there? I'm going to put hands on you. Like, wow. All these words are on the banned list because they are too violent. Oh, shoot. I can't say that. It seems this is less about upsetting fans and more about upsetting sponsors. That's and really what it sounds like. In fact, Daniel Bryan infamously got fired for choking a re-announcer mm -hmm. because it made WWE sponsors upset. To avoid losing sponsorships and brand deals, WWE has all these words banned, which is unfortunate for Seth Rollins, Kane, and The Undertaker. This one is a little ironic, but diva is a banned word in hmm. WWE. This used to be what the company referred to its female wrestlers as. This is true. Men were superstars, women were divas. Yep. However, since the divas revolution in the mid 2010s, WWE has started referring to all of its wrestlers, male and female, as superstars. The reason WWE doesn't use diva anymore is to help make the women's division more focused on wrestling rather than looks and beauty. Which I am all for. I am all for it. 
like divas they were cool for the attitude era and the ruthless aggression era but i'm all for the progression of women actually being showcased as wrestlers or my bad superstars beauty additionally the term diva doesn't exactly have the most positive meaning no it don't it's worth mentioning that anti-diva is also a no-no word this was the nickname page used and it's banned for the exact same reason diva is banned several other banned words are kayfabe house push mm. being over babyface heel and job slash jobber the reason why these words are forbidden is that they are mainly insider terms yeah if these words were used sense. on tv then wwe would essentially be breaking the fourth wall yeah calling a good guy wrestler a babyface would be similar to if someone in a movie referred to the main character as the protagonist mm -hmm. it wouldn't make any sense understandable this one is bizarre but mofos is also banned i mean wwe is a pg show so i guess it makes sense that yeah. the company wouldn't want to hear references to adult language the next word on the banned list isn't actually a word, but an abbreviation, DQ. Of course, this is a short way of saying disqualification. There isn't a clear reason why DQ isn't allowed to be said. Yeah, that's But perhaps weird. it's to avoid having fans think about the restaurant chain, um, Dairy Queen. You know what's funny? I actually had Dairy Queen today. As of me filming this video, I actually had Dairy Queen today. Uh, little, little tidbit. Dairy Queen used to be uh, my, uh, my grandfather's, like, favorite place to like get food from so my grandpa would always give me like um like a, a a double meat cheeseburger anytime he's like yo you want something to eat he would always give me that he'd get like some chicken strips he'd give my grandma some chicken strips and you know we just chill and eat so it, anytime i go to D, uh, dairy queen it makes me remember my grandfather that's the only reason why i go so uh yeah it's just one of those type of nostalgia good feelings that i that's the reason why I eat uh, Dairy Queen. So uh, rest in peace to my grandpa. Uh, love you, man. Miss you. So just wanted to kind of let you guys get to know me a little bit better on that point. More words that wrestlers and WWE talent are not allowed to say are victim and wife beater. Uh, I can understand the, the wife beater list, part. It makes sense. The victim part? I mean, I'm... I guess. Like WWE I would also ban these words too. Wife beater is pretty obvious, yeah. but victim isn't as clear. The reason for not saying victim is that it could make people think of things like domestic violence and other horrible crimes. Especially with the ongoing war in Ukraine, it begins to make sense why WWE banned the word victim. Speaking of the war, another word got banned because of it. Currently, commentators and other on-screen personnel can't say the word attack. Since Russia attacked Ukraine, WWE wants to avoid wow. accidentally making similarities to the war and therefore has banned the word attack Damn. for the time being. Another word, or technically an abbreviation, that isn't too surprising to see on this list is WWF. It seems like it would be a no-brainer. After yeah, obviously. All, the company has been called WWE for over 20 years now. However, there are some people who do insist on calling it WWF, mainly when talking about the company during that era. To prevent that from happening during their shows, WWE decided to get the WWF out. Mm -hmm. Now, the next two words on WWE's band list are kind of weird. The words are card and non-title. Card is understandable. As previously mentioned, mm -hmm. WWE wants to distance itself from wrestling, so referring to a match lineup as the card doesn't make sense. Card is also a term that MMA uses, and since yeah. WWE wants to brand itself as entertainment, it makes sense to avoid using terms associated with sports. However, non-title is kind of odd. The term is a recent addition to the banned list. Instead of saying a non-title match, WWE refers to matches where a champion is fighting both out their title on the line as championship contenders matches. Again, the reason what? is to use fewer wrestling and sports related terms and focus on entertainment. Personally, a championship contenders match just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it don't. Despite these words being banned, wrestlers have sometimes said them on yep, TV. This to is see true. those instances, watch the video on screen. Hey, man. Uh, this was a very interesting video. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, a lot of these words I never would have thought would be banned. But I guess, you know, some of it makes sense. Some of it, I think, is a little bit too nitpicky but once again they gotta please the advertisers it's all about that bottom dollar so i don't know they gotta just work within the confines i'm sure they could probably get away with some of these terms being said and some wrestlers have said these terms so i don't know but comment down below let me know which words on this list did you guys think was kind of strange to be on here like you were very surprised about it and uh let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace